Hi boys and girls, it's time for us to do our phonics together again. So we're going to start with our alphabet song and like we did yesterday, I'm going to hold up the alphabet and as we sing about the letters, I would like you to point to them after three. One, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I know my A, B, C. Next time won't you sing with me? Can you point to the letter that your name begins with? So my name is Miss Morris, so I'm going to point to mm. Right, now let's practice our phonemes again. I'll show you the letter and I want you to say the sound. Off we go. No luck now. Well done. And we're going to practice our tricky words, but we're going to have a look at them on the whiteboard today, like we do when we are at school. So I'll show you the words and I'd like you to read them. See if you can beat me. Two. She. He. Go. Into. She. The. He. Go, no, into, I, go, the, he. Good. And we're going to read some of the words now that we can Fred talk. So there's Fred to help us. Now I get my pointing stick. Off we go. Off. Now I've got my letters in here, I'm going to hold one up and I'd like you to tell me the name of this letter. Not the sound, the name. B. D. F. O. N M G Last one for today T Our cup of tea T Well done Right, I'm going to pop all those back in there now And you need your notebook and a pencil so if you haven't already got it pause the video and get your notebook and your pencil because we're going to practice writing some of the letters so there so we can see them on the screen there and i'm going to hold one up and i would like you to practice writing this letter like we do at school thinking about the rhyme that helps us form it correctly so here's our first one Slither down the snake. 
Now, adults listening, if you want to, you can pause the video to give your child a little bit of extra time to think about writing the letter and to practice forming it correctly. So we've got slither down the snake. Next one is... So down the stem and draw the leaves. Down the stem and draw the leaves. Next one. Mm. Down Nobby and over his net. Down Nobby and over his net. Next one. G or G. 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 Round her hair, down her face and give her a curl. Round her face, down her hair and give her a curl. Oh, let's see what I've got in here. D, 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 O, D. D, D, D. Round his bottom, up his tall neck and down to his feet. See if you can do that one. Round his bottom, up his tall neck and down to his feet. And I'm going to find the last one, B or B. Down the laces to the heel and round the toe. Down the laces to the heel and round the toe. Now I'm going to get my board now and I'm going to practice writing these letters and see if you've got the same as me. See if yours look the same as mine do. So we'll start with slither down the snake. Slither down the snake. Slither down the snake. The next one you practiced was down the stem and draw the flowers. Down the stem and draw the flowers. One more time. Down the stem and draw the flowers. And then it was down Nobby and over his net. Down Nobby and over his net. And then we had G or G, round her face, down her hair and give her a curl. Round her face, down her hair and give her a curl. And then D or D, round his bottom, up his tall neck and down to his feet. Round his bottom, up his tall neck and down to his feet. One more time. Round his bottom, up his tall neck and down to his feet. And the last one, b -b -b -b. down the laces to the heel and round the toe. I'll do it up here. Down the laces to the heel and round the toe. One more time. Down the laces to the heel and round the toe. Now you could pause the video now and you could practice writing lots more of these letters. You could even ask your adults to do it. So you could be the teacher and you could say a letter name or a letter sound and ask your adult to write it and see if they've got it right. But then they need to be the teacher and you can practice writing your letters as well. Now it's time for a little game. So you need your adults to help you here and you need seven pieces of paper. So adults listening, you can either um, ask your child to write the words that I'm going to say now, or you can write them, or you can, you can do it together. So I would like you on one piece of paper to write the word he. And then on another piece of paper, write the word she. Again, you might want to pause the video while your child tries hard to write the words. On another piece of paper, the word no. Then go. I. Two. And the last one, the. 
So on your piece of paper, you should have all of those tricky words and I would like you to scatter them all around the floor. Scatter them all around the floor and then you can either play some music or you can do some of the actions that I'm going to suggest now. And when the music stops or when I call out a word, I would like you to go and stand on the word, okay? So I want you to start by jumping. Can you jump around the room just now? Jump around the room, beside all the different words, jump around the room, and I would like you to go and stand beside the word he. Go and stand on the word he. Right, step off it, and this time I would like you to jog on the spot. So can you jog as fast as you can, as fast as you can on the spot, as fast as you can, and go and stand on the word two. Okay, come back into the middle, and I'd like you to skip around the room. Can you skip around the room? Skip, 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 skip around the room, and go and stand on the word she. She. Can you bend your knees? So I want you to bend your knees up and down, up and down, up and down, bend your knees, right down to the floor, bend your knees and go and stand on the word I, I. And now I'd like to see if you can balance on one foot. Lift one leg up and see if you can balance on one foot. How long can you keep that balance for? Swap legs. Can you keep that balance? And go and stand on the word two. Well done. And what I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to crawl around the room. Go and crawl around the room. A little bit like we do when we're in PE. Go and crawl around the room. Crawling, crawling, crawling. And go and stand on the word the. The. And I wonder if you can tiptoe around the room very quietly. Tiptoe around the room. Tiptoe. And go on tiptoe to the word I. I. Well done. And see if you can walk backwards. Can you walk backwards? Remember to keep looking behind you and in front to make sure you don't bump into anything. So walk backwards and go and find the word go. Well done, and come back into the middle and you can do any action you like. So you might jog, you might jump, you might skip, any action you like and go and stand on the word she. Well done. You can keep playing that game. You can use lots of different words. You could write lots of different words on pieces of paper. You could play some music, so a little bit like musical statues, when the music stops, you have to go and stand on a word. And again, you could be the teacher sometimes with your adult as well. So I hope you have lots of fun doing that. Now, if you're a little bit tired out after all that exercise, you might want to pause the video and have a little rest before I tell you about the next activity. So adults listening, the next activity is a worksheet that's on the website. In, on th under Thursday and you can either print it off or again if you haven't got access to a printer that's not a problem you can just look at the pictures on the screen and then the chi your child can write the caption in their notebook so let's have a little look we've got this is what the sheet looks like and it just says can you write a word or caption about the picture okay and adults, the answers are at the bottom. So I'm going to show you this first one, boys and girls, this first one. Okay, on top of the rock. I want you to have a go at writing that caption. On top of the rock. Or you could try just writing the word rock. R -O rock. We understand that children are all at different levels so your child might be able to write the word rock or they might be able to write the full caption on top of the rock. So pause the video while you practice writing that caption and then the next caption we've got cat on the bed. So again your child might write the word cat or the word 
bed. Well, see if you can write a cat on the bed. A cat on the bed. So that's a little activity that you can do at home together in your own time. Keep practicing your writing and your reading and I will see you tomorrow for some more phonics. Bye for now. Bye.